me. You gotta do your, chop your job. Your eyes gotta be in the right place. Lock them, and let's end the game with the football. You hear what I just said? Yeah. Johnny. Huge third down. Langan pulling a couple tacklers and another first down. Being thankful for the opportunities and people around you. Resources to set you up for success. Innovative coaches with a contagious passion and love for their craft. Open field and a touchdown! Jersey pride. And a team learning to win. Hey, this Rutgers team, though, guys, they're gritty, they fight. Seattle has these guys with the attitude of no quit. It's all part of the Rutgers football story. It's just such a great story of a team that's come from the ground and built themselves up. Not only in one football game, he's changed the culture for a college, a university, and a state. You can already sense the change in the attitude around the RU football program. Jubilation in Piscataway. He's done it before. He's built his team to believe. You have to respect Jersey. This campus is in a football frenzy. And now to come back and be a member of the Big Ten Conference, it's incredible. Well, it's Scarlet Fever here in New Jersey. Racing for the biggest moment ever. An example, if you buy into a team, how much it can benefit you. Go, 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 go. This weekend we had to have together, that, that we were able to be at the hotel together and bond as a team. Thank you for the opportunity, down 10, to test our resolve. Please help us remain humble and let's be vulnerable to each other. Right, let's do those two things, humble service, be vulnerable to each other and build something really special here. In a unique year for everyone, Thanksgiving weekend had the Scarlet Knights visiting Purdue. Their chop mentality is always a positive, but especially coming off a triple overtime loss. There was no hangover, just a focus group, swinging the collective ax at the same mark on the tree. A tree that would fall by the end of the game. Get your thumbs ready to go. Get your thumbs ready to go. Oh no, what's that red? pressure that they haven't seen yet. I'm glad we're here with show and we're doing it together, all right? It's about us right here in this circle. We're going to talk together and we're going to do it all day. Build it up, Top four, three, one, two, three. Top. Amidst the pandemic, few have had to sacrifice as much just to play football. The Rutgers is a program that prepares and trains young men for the challenges of not just football, but life. Sitkowski quickly takes the snap with time, lofting it for the end zone. For Jones, he's got it! Touchdown, Rutgers! This is not the Rutgers offense you remember from years past. Well, Rutgers specifically has been phenomenal. They put up 42 points last week against Michigan. A couple weeks ago, they, they put up huge numbers, 27 against Ohio State. This team is ready to play. Throw it back, end zone, open is Jones, he's got it! Touchdown, Rutgers! How about the call? Gleason is awesome with his play call and his feel. There's that innovation that we talk about. It's a great play call and great execution by the offense quarter and the players on the field. Offensive coordinator Sean Gleason flew in the day of the game after his third child was born the night before. But Rutgers' start was anything but sleepy. Purdue battled back, though, and while the Scarlet Knights had the big first quarter, the Boilermakers controlled the second. Touchdown, and then Purdue has taken the lead. It was not the healthiest lineup Rutgers had available this season, and while many stepped up for the cause, it would take a while, and they were down at the half. Fakes the handoff, runs it himself, and dives in for the touchdown. Rutgers came out of the gates firing, led 13 to seven, and then the Boilermakers scored 16 unanswered points. Falling behind on the road wasn't the issue. Responding to it was. Langan throws, and he's got an open man. It's K-Ron Adams to the 40, 30, 20, 10. K-Ron Adams is going to score the touchdown. Patient, confident, poise, touchdown. 
Purdue answered with a touchdown of their own, but it would be the last time they scored, as special teams started a comeback with a play that grabbed momentum for good. Crookshank, one yard deep, gonna bring it out. Runs left, 35, cutting back 40, 45 to the 50, Crookshank 40, Crookshank to the 30, Crookshank is gonna go! 100 yards! That was gorgeous. This is about belief. This is about knowing when you have the ball in your hand. You have to block for this guy. You saw guys blocking for, for Aaron Crookshank. They believed in him. Unbelievable play. And that's plays like these get you back in the games. The coaching staff knew they would need a big play in the kicking game, but all three phases pulled on the rope and the defense was next. Plummer evades Avery, but he throws an interception. Mohamed Toure. Big momentum. What a play. Believing in the chop means refusing to give in to difficulty. Down 10 on the road, facing injuries that would only make the comeback that much more satisfying, led by a couple of Jersey boys at quarterback. The Scarlet Knights scored the last 17 points of the game. It's a touchdown. Aaron Young. Rutgers down by 10 at half, leads by four. It's all about finishing now. Yep. Now you have to find ways to win this kind of game. And they would. Triple overtimes and last second decisions had forged experiences these Scarlet Knights had learned from. Rutgers now set the example of what Big Ten football looks like. It's physical, it's downhill. You know what's coming. Now you gotta man up and stop it. But Purdue couldn't stop it and Rutgers chopped the challenge of the day head on. Chop, man. We're down, we're down 10 points at the half on the road in the Big Ten Conference. Mm -hmm. Team Arrival, views from warm-ups, the Team Tunnel Walk, and more every home game this season at SHI Stadium. Three, one, two, three. It's Rutgers Football Sights and Sounds, one hour before kickoff each home week. Catch it live on RU Athletics Twitter or on the Rutgers Football Facebook page. Time to practice, baby. Let's go. My name is Sean Gleason. I'm the offensive coordinator and uh, quarterback coach. Make those hips up, baby. Reach, 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 crossover. It's unique that I'm, I'm one of the only guys on staff that has coached in New Jersey in high school, in a Division three school, in a 1AA school, and now in, in major college football. Sean Gleason is really the new young offensive mastermind at 36 years of age. Something about these Jersey guys, they just want to come home and coach. It's special. My wife is, is from here. You know, both my kids were born here. When we're successful, I know that's going to be a gift for the people of New Jersey, and I'm excited to give that back seeing that I've taken as much as I have um, from this state, but yeah, it's special. You never know what you're going to face when you go up against Sean Gleason as offensive coordinator and head coach Greg Ciano. Coach Gleason's a wizard. I think he's a super talented play caller. He's an offensive genius. How about that call from Sean Gleason? Was this the Kansas City Chiefs I'm watching or what? With all this motion <laughs> in the back. His job's hard. He's managing a, a growing offense, a new offense, an offense that kind of thrives on chaos. but. In the meeting room, he's a little more relaxed, uh, a little more easygoing, but he's definitely an intense coach and he does it the right way. Kick, see, reach, kick, pin, yes! Perfect pop! He's gonna push you to make you better, he look you in your eyes like a man and ask you like, are you ready to go? Let's go, this is here. Time's ticking, let's get it. That's what Sean Gleason wanted! Nobody saw that coming, I know I didn't. It's a brand of football that's labeled as fast, physical, and the ball is the third pillar. There's more plays, there's more points. A period of interesting trick plays and formations and misdirections. If I love football 
and I love playing football, why wouldn't I want to do more of it in every single game? So if you love football, do it at this place with this culture, family trust chop, but in a no huddle offense that, that attacks the way that we do because there's going to be more of everything. He knows how to use all his tools and all his pieces. That's what I really like about the offense and I feel like it fits me and all the, a lot of the people we have on the team because he can move everyone around and uh, get everyone the ball when they need to get it. That's what we're trying to build here from a roster standpoint, guys that'll buy into our culture. You know, people that'll sacrifice and people that'll be honest and people that'll continually do the right thing over and over again. First linebacker from the center's head to the play. Okay, you got me? All right, so here we go. I had a, a great view of what happened when Koshiano was here last. And it's special to me to be a part of this now because I know we can do it again. This is the type of not just offense, but fight that this new coaching staff wants to reinstall into the veins of this program. And more than fight, it's a belief, a belief that you can win the big games, a belief that you can win the close games. That's what they're starting to build towards, a belief in themselves and in their squad. Really proud of our guys. I mean, that's a 60-minute team chop on the road in the Big Ten Conference, down 10 at half. Everybody kind of picked up the slack, and it was all three phases had to, had to come together to win this game on the road. Hey, this Rutgers team, though, guys, they're gritty. They fight. Seattle has these guys with the attitude of no quit. And just be out there with those guys and to go out there and just have fun and play, was it was awesome. Just keep chopping. Uh, chop every moment, every play, every down. Absolutely fantastic. And in the second half of this game, Total had dominance. the football for 22 minutes. Total dominance. We, we played really tough and we played our brand of football. Coach Gleason, he says we're fast and we're physical. And that's exactly what we did in the second half. Rutgers can play physically in the Big Ten and they can impose their will. And As they did just that. We were going to need a big play in the kicking game. Didn't know what that big play was going to be, but I thought that was going to be something we were going to need. Aaron ran the ball. Everybody did a great job on that play. Uh, Coach Shire and his staff, great job scheming it up, and the kids executed it very well. It's just kind of the culture, you know, like we play for each other, we play for our coaches, you feel what I'm saying? So, like, just that love and like the connection that we guys have. Passion, excitement, fire. This team has something special. They're building, they're growing. You can see the excitement, the joy, the love. My hat's off to Sean. I'm so excited for him. He had a baby last night. He, well, obviously he didn't. His wife had a baby last night at like 10.30. So he flew out this morning. And that, I just told him, what a, what a great one-two punch, right? You have, a, you have your third child, and then you uh, come out here, and the offense just plays lights out. So uh, I, I'm really, it's, uh, it's exciting. First off, New Jersey will always be the, the beginning and the end of everything we do, right? And there's a lot of reasons for that. Number one, it's a great football, high school football state. There's great players, there's tremendous high school football coaching. So you get guys that, uh, that are further along in their development and understand the commitment level of playing big time college football. We will recruit other places, that's for sure. Good football played all around the country, but we happen to be in one of the, one of the hotbeds and we gotta treat that with the utmost importance first and foremost. This is always where it starts and finish. Well, the state of New Jersey, like really all the great things that I've had in my life have come from here. And I've often said, if you're not from here, you probably don't get it. And that's okay, because if people got it, I don't think you could find a place to live. It's pretty crowded as it is. When you, when you think about this state and the people that come from it, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a tough group of people, it's a loyal group of people, and it's a hardworking group of people. And when you grow up in that environment, I think it trains you well for the future. And now to be able to be back here in this state, you know, with our young people and helping them develop, uh, I think it's really a, a great honor to be able to, and a, and a, and a real, real responsibility, to be training the future leadership of, of the state of New Jersey. Yeah! Let's go! Thank you for your attendance. Until next time.
Inside the five and takes it in for the score. He said something about these Jersey guys. They just want to come home and coach. I think the New Jersey people are passionate people. Well, that's my state. That's where I'm from. Born and raised in the state. They keep chopping. You know, we have so many Jersey guys here that understand what that's about. So we understand the personality. The Rutgers up 14 0. Everything's turning up scarlet. They enjoy watching their, their sons and their cousins and their brothers go out and compete. I think it's super competitive because there's no other place that you can go and just play football hard. It, it takes a little bit of extra soul and a little bit of, of passion. And Sitkowski takes the snap with time, lofting it for the end zone. Got it! Touchdown, Rutgers! No one cares about what your stars are. No one cares about what your record was last week. When it's time to play today on the football field, if you're in the state of New Jersey, you're going to compete. That brand of football, you will absolutely see in what we do. I mean, heck, Coach Chiano's one of those guys. Hey, today you gotta go harder than them, longer than them. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Harder than them, longer than them. You gotta do that. Chop, chop, chop. You got me. Yes, sir. Well, I think it goes right back to the work ethic of the people of this state, the toughness. This is a tough game, right? You don't go to a picnic and put on a hard shell helmet and shoulder pads and start hitting people. That's not, you, play, you might play wiffle ball, you might play basketball. You're not playing that. So it's a tough game for tough people. And New Jersey's got tough people. This is quite a goal line state. It's big. One now. Stop short at the 20 yard line. It's unbelievable. That's a huge play right there. That's how you take respect, right there. So you want to talk about teaching, you know, toughness and accountability. That family trust and chop is built into, I'm sure, the way he learned how to play football. And it certainly is built into the way I learned how to play football before I even knew what those words meant. Got it! Great high school coaches that take great pride in mentoring their players. My high school coach still to this day, one of my true mentors. So when you talk about what it takes to have great high school football, tough people, great coaches, and a state that really supports it. Having the ability to be a part of a, a great Big Ten program like Rutgers and stay home in the state of New Jersey, that's one thing that we're really focusing on, stay home and make this place great. Let's check out the five oh. guys for the pylon. Did he get you know, people that'll sacrifice and people that'll be honest and people that'll continually do the right thing over and over again. And I think all those are in the boiling pot that is New Jersey high school football and New Jersey in general. Oh my goodness! An incredible play! We're not going home. No one's going home. The whole team's sticking together for Thanksgiving. We're going to have a team Thanksgiving. You know what? It's not what you're used to, but quite honestly, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to being with the guys and being able to hang out. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Appreciate y'all. Everybody, happy Thanksgiving! Enjoy y'all night. I'm thankful for these guys right here. Game for the game for my family and my family that I'm not with right now. I'm thankful for having family right here with me. Come on, greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, yams, hogs, logs. <laughs> hey, you filming you, you filming me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Big five. Everybody has a great bond on the team. It's really the family oriented. It's basically like home. Well, when there's not a pandemic, we all usually hang out with each other. Everybody find themselves into the games. We used to play Madden Leagues and franchises, people on 2K, so we got gamers. We definitely into it. College in Australia is not like college here. It's completely different. When I try to uh, explain to people back home kind of what it's like, I don't think they really understand. There's not many places in the country that offer that like Rutgers does. And how we build family here, I think that's, that's really big about us. People who know me are gonna think this is crazy because I am Mr. Binder for my whole career. I got binders with everything. I went paperless in 2017 and the really changed my life to have the ability to have everything at your disposal. We took that and we've made it our entire program. So every one of our players understands how to use the cloud, how to pull things down from the cloud. 
as long as they have their iPad or their phone, they have access to everything they need. To me, that is a huge advantage going into the real world. Get here. Now, if you can't get here, Jameer, that's when you can just turn back. So we're running inside zone. Now you can go back and really do a deep dive on whatever subject is you're trying to perfect. Let me go back to look at this coverage. Let me go back to look at my finances. Let me go back to look at my English class. So I think our players have a tremendous advantage and we start them right away. The day they get here, they, they begin and it's a journey, but they learn how to use it and I think it'll be a skill they use for their whole life. And is there anything that you have to get done before? Study? Every single one of our guys has a time management sheet. And on that time management sheet has their week of every single thing that they have to do. Their practice block, has all their tutoring on there, has their classes on there. And what we want them to do is start doing what us adults in the real world do on an everyday basis, is map out what you have to do on a daily and weekly basis to make sure that you accomplish that. Where would you guess the ball is? Outside. Our organization is real time in everything. They're always getting things that are updated, that are easy to carry around. There's nothing cumbersome about the way that we do our business. I'm taking notes, watching film, or whatever the occasion may be, even using it for the um, classroom. Having our playbooks, uh, everything, football, all the meetings, everything on the iPads. Yeah, it's, in it's incredible. Coach Shiana talks about a paperless program and uh, switching to an iPad has been a great, great transition we've been able to make. It's all right in front of us. The fact that everybody on the team has one, you know, it, it helps out so much. That was something that was great that they did for us and I appreciate that. So the iPad's been a great inclusion into the program and, and Coach Iano is to thank for that. Be a big challenge, good to have it at home and uh, looking forward to it. You know, with a 12 o'clock start, there's not a lot of time, so. And we're blessed that that the chop is what our program is, is centered around because I don't know any other year that's challenged that more than this year. And I'm not just talking the season, I'm talking really day to day, the ups and downs. When rivalries develop, it's because there's great contests on the field, there's great recruiting battles, and that's why so many rivalries are regional because you recruit the same kids and you have great games. In the game against Penn State, it would be a natural rival, bordering states, all that, but Rutgers has not given a reason yet for us to be their, you know, Penn State's rival. That's up to us. I have a lot of fond memories about, about Penn State. My first full-time job, Coach Paterno gave me a chance at 25 years old to be the secondary coach. That doesn't happen very often. No matter what, you gotta, you gotta swing it again, you gotta go. But I do think it's a coach's job after big wins, making sure that we are back on task. And that's something that, uh, that, that I think is important for me as a head coach to, to make sure that happens. As I always say to our guys, there's some things I think I know and there's some things I know I know. Well, now I know I know because I've seen it.